Hello there and welcome. Today I'm talking about brown algae in marine aquariums, otherwise known as diatoms. So firstly, they're not actually an algae, they're their own type of organism and they have a hard skeleton. Diatoms usually appear in new marine aquarium setups or ones where you've added extra nutrients to the water if you've added some new live rock or some more sand. Diatoms are a completely natural and normal thing to have appearing in a marine setup and are usually the first in the chain when cycling and maturing a new tank. However, diatoms can be really unsightly and they can actually take over the entire tank, covering every surface in a brown film. They can even cover corals and sometimes they can kill off certain types of soft and hard corals, which is obviously undesirable in your marine tank. The actual cause of diatoms in any aquarium is usually hard to nail down. They are usually caused by a variety of different problems. The first thing you need to look at is your lighting. If your lighting is incorrect and it's not a marine lighting, then generally changing that over to a marine bulb or marine LED can help. Also it could be that your lights are on for too long and possibly that they are too intense for your aquarium. So make sure your lighting is correct. Diatoms also are caused by excess nutrients. Like most algae, they'll soak up whatever's available, but they very, very much like silica and silicates in the water and dissolved organic compounds. Those two are the main nutrients that diatoms will use, but also nitrates and phosphates of food as well. So silica can come from using unfiltered fresh tap water so if you're not using RO in your aquarium then that's a possible cause also if you don't use correct sand or you've added new live rock silica can also come out from there make sure also that any of your salt water you're using is not a salt mix that's high in silica a way to reduce the amount of silica in your aquarium is actually to promote the growth of sponges or even to buy some sponges because sponges will outcompete the diatoms for silica and then once the sponges are growing the diatoms will go away. Phosphates and nitrates in an aquarium is very common especially a marine aquarium. To get rid of those you can use the usual kind of absorption based medias or you can use some um, liquid form of dosing such as a chemical called Nopox um, and that should reduce the amount of phosphates and nitrates in your aquarium. Also reducing feeding can help and also don't overload your aquarium with livestock. Any good marine aquarium would be lost without a good clean up crew. These would also take diatoms. Many of the best diatom eating um, organisms are trochus and astrea snails so you'll probably just know them as turbo snails but they will happily graze around on your aquarium rock work and eat those pesky diatoms fish such as coltangs or any other kind of acanthuridae or tenochetus type fish will graze on diatoms and any other algae so it's worth adding a variety of tang Another thing which can be good for diatoms is the algae blenny because they will go around and graze. Basically you want a good grazing community within your aquarium. Of course that won't hit the cause of the problem which is generally over nutrients but it will help to reduce the visible problem. Even hermit crabs are a good option. So these are all ways of getting rid of or reducing the amount of diatoms in your aquarium. But remember, diatoms are a natural part of the ecosystem. The reason you've got too many of them is because you're promoting them. Essentially, the nutrients are there to feed them. Also, if it's a new aquarium, it's just part of the cycling process. Essentially, what you want to do is promote the sponges, get a good clean-up crew, make sure your nutrients and water quality is good, and eventually the diatom should die back. It's a normal process. If your tank is mature though, and you're starting to get diatom blooms, you really need to look at the reason why, what has changed or what is causing that diatom to take over. And usually it's a lighting or a nutrient problem. So I hope this has been helpful. Um, I hope it's also going to help you with your diatom problem. 
So thank you for watching and happy fish keeping.